What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at SteamOS running on the all new Menace Forum MS-01. This is a console sized mini PC with a lot of great features built in. They actually consider this a mini workstation. And yeah, with the CPU, all the IO and upgradability we have, it definitely fits right in that category. But given the size here and the fact that we've actually got a real PCIe X16 slot in here so we can add a GPU, we can turn this into an awesome little gaming machine. Now, if you're interested in checking out my initial review, we were running Windows on it. I'll leave a link for that in the description. But in this video, we're going to be running Chimera OS, which is really close to Steam OS that, uh, you know, Valve put out for the Steam Deck. Unfortunately, Valve hasn't officially released a build for anything else other than the Steam Deck. And when it comes to Chimera OS, this is my go-to for Linux gaming right now. All the features of Steam Deck OS are built in. We've also got a desktop interface. We'll take a look at all of that. If you want to learn a little more about Chimera OS, I will leave a link to their official website in the description below. Everything you need to know to get this up and running on your machine is over on the website. It's a really easy download. Basically, we're going to flash the installer to a USB drive, boot our PC from that USB, and then install it to a drive. You could actually install this to an external drive if you want to. And since it's Linux, it's actually still pretty lightweight, so you could run this from an external USB drive if you wanted. I've done several videos testing out Chimera OS on different machines, but when it comes to the MS-01, this is a really awesome console-sized PC. And if you take a look inside of this mini PC, we've got a full-size PCIe X16 slot. Now, this is only running at PCIe 4.08X, which is perfect for this low-profile GPU that we're going to be using. And since we want to get really close to Steam OS, we are going to be using a Radeon GPU. And the one that I opted to use, which fits right in here, is the Radeon RX 6400. Low profile, single slot, not the most powerful GPU on the market, but it does handle 1080p gaming pretty well. Now before we jump right into the operating system, I wanted to give you a quick rundown on the specs. So what we have here is the new Menace Forum MS-01. This has an Intel Core i9-13900H, but keep in mind they also sell one with an i9-12900H. But with this, we get 14 cores, 20 threads, 6 performance cores up to 5.4 GHz, and 8 efficiency cores up to 4.1. I've got 32 GB of DDR5 running in dual channel here at 5200 MHz, but this will support up to 64 gigs. Like we saw, this does have that PCIe X16 slot, and inside of here, we've got a Radeon RX 6400 low-profile GPU. 4 gigabytes of gddr 6 VRAM, and it is based on RDNA 2. Given that they consider this a mini workstation, this will actually support up to 24 terabytes of storage. We've got three M.2 slots in here, but I'm going to be running Chimera OS from a 1 terabyte M.2 SSD, and it's actually only a 3.0 drive but this does support 4.0 and 3.0. This also has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and around back, it's actually got two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports and two 10 gigabit ethernet ports. So yeah, they really went all out with the IO and networkability of this mini PC, but we're gonna get into it with Chimera OS. I'm gonna plug this into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything, show you around a bit, then we'll get into some gameplay. Okay, so here it is. Been up and running for a little while. I'm still downloading a few games, but everything is working with the MS-01. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet. Uh, we've got the RX 6400 here. Now, if we head in to our performance settings, you can see we get that overlay just like the Steam Deck, showing all 20 threads with this i9 CPU. We've also got some information about the GPU up in the top left-hand corner. One thing that this is not displaying is the wattage of the CPU. But remember, this does have a boost up to 65. I'm going to go ahead and disable this just for now because I wanted to take a look at a few other things. Heading over to settings, we'll go to system. And from here, you can see we've got that i9-13900H, 14 cores, 20 threads, 32 gigs of DDR5 at 5200 megahertz, and the RX 6400. So yeah, this will do up to 42 watts, but what I've noticed here, with Linux at least, is we're not hitting that 42 watt mark with the GPU. In Windows, we can basically max this out. And one other thing I've actually run into, especially with games like God of War and Spider-Man, I guess these Sony ports, sometimes I'll get into game and our GPU just isn't working correctly, so I have to restart the game. It's really only been with these. So for instance, you know, going in here the first time, I was getting around 30 FPS on average, and that's without V-Sync on. 
restarted it because I noticed that we were only pulling around 12 watts from the GPU, and as soon as I started the game back up, we were over 60 with it. Got a lot of stuff to test here, but yeah, Chimera OS is really, really nice. We do have um, updates here. They're OTA updates for the operating system itself, and we've got the Steam updates. So we're on Steam Deck stable right now. We can go to beta if we want to, but I'm gonna keep it at stable. And again, we do have Wi-Fi working. Bluetooth is also up and running. Really a big fan of this. And another thing we have is a desktop interface. So going into our power settings, switch to desktop. So we can also use this as a full-fledged Linux desktop PC. Uh, we can show all of our apps. I haven't downloaded anything other than that comes preloaded. Go to our software center. Through here, we can go in, download new emulators. We can download games. You can download a full office suite known as LibreOffice. Basically, you could set this up for school. You could set it up for work. You could set it up for video and photo editing really easily. But really, what I'm worried about here is gaming on this machine. So we're going to head back to game mode now. I've got a lot of games that I want to test out, and I think the first one we're going to do here is... Let's do Spider-Man Miles Morales. Go ahead and play. And the first game we have here is Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm at 1080p low settings. On the RX 6400, this game does struggle a bit at the higher settings. But remember, going into this, you might run into low frame rates. You need to reboot the game. It's really odd how this works. Another one I had the issue with was Horizon Zero Dawn and this little setup here. Unfortunately, at the time of making this video, there must be a bug that doesn't allow that GPU to clock up all the way because when I went into this, we were running at about 12 watts on the GPU, but now taking a look, we're over 25. And with it set up like this, I got an average of 73 FPS, which is really good for this game and the RX 6400. Next on the list, we've got Mortal Kombat 1, and I actually wasn't sure how well this was going to perform. Newer game on the list, but uh, 1080p low settings seems to work out really well. We're at a constant 60. Take a look over on the left hand side. Our GPU doesn't need to struggle as much. We're under 25 watts there. So I think we could go up with some of these settings a bit more, maybe a low medium mix, or we could go to medium and add a little bit of FSR. It's really up to you in the end. But going into this, I thought we'd only have an average of around 40 FPS, just given how new the game is. I completely understand that The Witcher 3 is an older game, but it's still a lot of fun to play. One of my favorites, we're at 1080p, medium settings, and we are on the latest update, so if you did need to add a little bit of FSR, you definitely could. But we're at a native 1080p medium settings and got an average of 73 FPS. I also wanted to test an older one just to see how this thing handled it. And we've got Left 4 Dead 2. Very high settings, 1080p, and we're basically capped out at 300 FPS, so it's more than playable. And I'm pretty sure this little setup would allow us to go up to 1440p. I just didn't have it plugged into a 1440p display, so I didn't even bother. But yeah, it's going to handle these older Source games really well. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, and of course, we've got Left 4 Dead 2 here running at 300 FPS. And the final game I wanted to test here was Cyberpunk 2077 1080p, low settings, and this is actually running a lot better than it did in Windows. In fact, we're getting a gain of around 13 FPS over Windows, same exact settings with this little setup here. It's very playable, but every once in a while I did see a dip down to around 59 FPS. It's not too noticeable, especially if you were just to turn V-Sync on, lock it down at 60. Not going to get any screen tearing or anything like that. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised that it's running much better here in Linux than it did in Windows on this machine. So yeah, the all new Minus Forum MS-01 paired up with that RX 6400 does a really great job with Linux gaming. Now it would be nice to have a more powerful GPU here, and we could install something like an A2000. It's an RTX card from NVIDIA, but it wouldn't allow us to use all of the features we have here with this Radeon card in Chimera OS. Unfortunately, like with our performance overlay and everything like that, it's not going to work with NVIDIA. 
That's just how it is right now due to drivers. But overall, I do think that this would be a great little console sized Linux gaming machine. And you know, in the future, if AMD does release something like a 7400 based on RDNA 3, we could see a nice little boost in performance and hopefully they do stick with that single slot low profile card. But for now, I'm gonna be rocking it with that RX 6400 and I'm totally content on what kind of performance we've seen today. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And again, if you wanna check out Windows running on the Menace Forum MS01, I'll leave a link to that original video in the description. But like always, thanks for watching.